26 is 2 times 13. So can that be reduced? Two square roots of 13 is the value of x. What was the last one? The last one was the square root of 58. When can you use the Pythagorean theorem? In a right triangle. You must know what? Two of the sides. And you're looking for the third. Which one's the hypotenuse? X plus one is the hypotenuse. So we set the hypotenuse squared and by itself, and we add the other two together. Now when you square x plus 1, what kind of problem is that? It's a FOIL problem. Doesn't mean you're individually squaring x and squaring 1. It means you're squaring the whole thing. and you get a trinomial. <coughs> what should you do next? I'm going to get my x squareds. Well, I try to get them on the same side, but what happens? They cancel. So I have 2x plus 1 equals 25. This is a very simple equation that needs to be solved. You subtract 1 from both sides. 2x is equal to 24. And then you divide by 2. Now, do you need to take the square root of both sides? No. Square root's gone. X squared's canceled. All right, so I could ask you three different, well, I could ask you two different questions on this problem. I could say, what's the value of X? And your answer would be 12. Or I could say, how long is the hypotenuse? And your answer would be 13. Because the hypotenuse is 12 plus 1 units long. Okay, so you got to make sure you answer the questions. Longest side. Okay. All right, let's do this one, and then we're going to move on to Sokakoa. Yes? The longest side is always opposite the biggest angle, and the 90 degree angle is the biggest angle. So the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle. A is the second to the It doesn't matter which one you assign A or B. As long as you put the hypotenuse by itself. Okay? I want you to see if you can set that problem up and solve it for X. Which one is the hypotenuse? Okay. The whole hypotenuse is being squared, and that's by itself, which means the other two legs need to be squared and then added together. John, what is seven square roots of two squared? Say it in two steps. Forty-nine times two 
which is 98. Very good. And what's x squared plus x squared, Aaron? 2x squared. My next step is to divide both sides by 2. And I get that x squared is equal to 49. So, Caleb, what should I do next? You're not Take the square root of both sides. So the value of x is? 7. Okay. Huh? Both of the x's are 7. That would be called an isosceles triangle where two legs are equal. Okay. Pythagorean theorem. When can you use the Pythagorean theorem? For right triangles and you know two sides and you're looking for the third side. Okay, so the Pythagorean theorem cannot be used when you're looking for an angle. It only tells us side lengths. Okay, so what if, oops, So what if it's not side lengths that I'm working with, but there's angle measures? I'm either looking for an angle or I'm looking for a side, but I don't know two of the other sides. All right, well, I need another way of solving this. And these are called trigonometric functions, or for short, trig functions. And so ka toa is a way of remembering how the functions go. The S in so represents the sine function. The C in ka is the cosine function. And the T in toa is our tangent function. In this first equation, you see sine and then this little symbol. This symbol is the Greek letter theta. Theta is our angle measure. Okay, it's a designated angle measure. The 90 degree angle will never be theta. It has to be one of the other two. The sine of theta is equal to opposite which is the side opposite that angle, over the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side. Okay? The hypotenuse will never be the opposite. The hypotenuse will never be the adjacent. The hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. SOH in SO stands for sine opposite hypotenuse. Cosine. The cosine of our angle is equal to the adjacent side. The side adjacent to our angle over the hypotenuse. CAH stands for cosine adjacent hypotenuse. And with our tangent function, we have the tangent of our angle is equal to the side opposite that angle over the side adjacent to that angle. So, ka, toa. If the hypotenuse is involved, in some form or fashion. Can all three functions be used? No. Which one cannot be used if the hypotenuse